Okay, so, um... I'm just gonna use this. <laughs> because I can't think of anything better to call this collection, nor can I think of a better image. So, <laughs> so we're gonna call this the Bitio Game Collection. And... Or the Bitio Game Pack. And these are some games that uh, Great Sphinx sh sent me, and uh, one that I found, and... Well... It's just something for a little bit of variety. So we're going to start with Fortnite 2. Alright. Alright, here you go. Wait a sec. I just don't understand how big it is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm working on getting this thing captured. It, it's preventing screen capture for some reason. It does. It doesn't want to be seen. Here it is. Fortnite. Two, love on the battlefield. Okay, this is epic. Today was going to be the day. Anarchy Acre is a beautiful plateau for relaxing after the destruction of your enemies. Okay. A perfect spot for dropping, since no one will be visiting this area right at the beginning of the game. Closing your eyes and holding your breath, you dropped off the bus, clinging to your own heart as you smile softly. The breeze in your hair reminds you of the happiness you feel shooting the face off of various 12-year-olds. Before you know it, you hit their feet hit the ground and your beautiful hilly breeze of anarchy acres stood before you. Where are we dropping? You look around. You were sure you were by yourself. Whew. Sighing out loud, you flash a soft smile before going back to your serious expression. Stepping one at a time through the acres, your eyes scout around for anyone. Not a person in sight. How odd. The game broke? Really? Gripping your gun tighter, you, your eyes flee across the plain before freezing in your step. Someone was here. Something felt purple. Why? Hello there, little one. Standing before you, Fortnite user XX1 Half Universe XX stood before you, the supervillain himself, Thanos. Do you know how hard it is to find a keyboard my size? Pretty difficult? <laughs> That's right. So what's stopping me from snapping you right now? I've got a gun. You stutter your words. He was about twice as tall as you and double in mass. What is your name? Uh, my name's Meat. What? Meat. I swear I didn't make this game. Okay, this is epic. That's right. Meat, you seem like the meaty type. Thanos laughs, bellowing across the acres as he grinned wide-eyed at you. You're cute. Did you know that? What? N no, Baka. It's true, Meat Chan. You're so small, fra so frail. How about teaming up with me, defeating every puny creature on this battleground? Of, of course, then, <laughs> Senpai. <laughs> Placing you on his broad, succulent shoulder, a grin appearing on his face. Before long, wave after wave of players were shot down, leaving a trail of blood across the battleground. The sound of screaming children in your headphones fills you with joy. No such joy could ever be compared to that of spending this quality time with Thanos. Clinging to his neck, you shoot across the map, Thanos himself punching and beating anyone who stands in his way. Before you know it, there are only three players left. Hey, Thanos-senpai? Yes, me, Chan. W what do we do once it's just us? Thanos goes silent. Little one, 
you should not ask questions that you are not ready to hear the answer to. What? Placing you down on the ground, Thanos kneels before you. Looking into his eyes, the purple glow of his body fills you with happiness, friendship, or perhaps something greater. Perhaps it is true love. Thanos begins to tear up, leaning closer to you. Meet Chan. I love you. Thanos Senpai, no! Placing his arms around you, the purple man begins to sob, smiling as he knew to protect you. Thanos' body begins to fade away before you, his legs, chest, and arms turning to dust. Perfectly balanced gameplay. As all things should be. No! Thanos was gone, the large gauntlet, large golden gauntlet landing on the ground with a large thud. Looking into the UI, you notice the player count. Players, 1.5. Wait, 1. 1.5? As you turn around, the body of the last Fortnite player lay before you, his entire lower half melted into the floor. Kill me! Shaking as you tear up, you grab the gauntlet. Fitting it into your small, weak hand, you punch the player in his face. You win. But at what cost? Well, that's the best thing I've streamed in th two or three months, at least. Holy fuck. We need, um, you yeah, know, we need a song for that. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Isn't that right, Meat Chan? Y yes, Thanos Kun. Yes. Creature Street. Drop in the other place, the game lets you choose, but it broke. Okay, I'll try that again at the end of the stream. When I'm done with these games, I will... I will play Fortnite 2 again and try to drop in the other location. There's been a terrible crime. WASD or gamepad to move around interacts. It's crime journal? Hello, detective. Thank you for coming here on such short notice. Um, I'm sorry to bother you, but the town of Penis needs your help. Penis is usually a very peaceful place, full of kindness and joy. However, a few months ago, a boy named Boner arrived. He was immediately appointed mayor of Penis, and his incumbency has been tumultuous at best. You see, mayor... Uh, you see, I'm mayor... Boner's assistant, and I have a front row seat to his decision-making process. Town has seen better days, to be sure, but the other villagers and I were getting along pretty well until last night, that is. This isn't public knowledge yet, but Mayor Boner has been murdered. We need to bring the killer to justice immediately. Can you help us save Penis and identify the killer of the Mayor Boner? Okay, this is the Mayor's house. All the other animals are around town. Keep in mind the murder isn't public knowledge yet. Try to be in inconspicuous and friendly. This is weird. It says I can move around with the controller, but then the none of the buttons work. Search for clues, and then figure out who killed Mayor Boner. Holy shit, what a way to go. He certainly pissed somebody off big time. The murder weapon belonged to the mayor. No prints on it other than his. Do animals have fingerprints? 
poor fucker doesn't even know what he's just seen. <laughs> Seems like there was quite a struggle. We need to get Scoot in here. Scoot knows who did it. I know Tubby Tubby. I just did it. Um, Jerry did it. Who? I mean, Drake. Drake did it. Scoot, are you sure it was Drake? You're not just trying to frame a competing duck? I swear to God, Drake did it. That motherfucker, he tried to kill him in the beginning. Some stationery with some special red ink added to journal. Seems like there was quite a struggle. I don't know what's nastier, the murder or this toilet. Looks pretty uncomfortable to me. I'm just supposed to run the lost and found. I'm not trained to deal with shit like this. Is this the default Unity run animation? Good morning, you may address me as Myrtle, Mrow, and you are? The pleasure is all yours, we may become friends if you keep things nice and neat and tidy here in Penis. You, you know, you know how many people named their town Penis in Animal Crossing. You, you can't even play like this is, you can't even play like this is out of the ordinary. Because it's really not. How big is penis? That's a good question. That's a good question. I don't know how big... This was a pretty nice shirt before the ominous stain. It's probably huge! Hey there, Boofer. I'm Ursula. Pleasure to meet you. You'll have a great time in penis. I love pen- People. If you want to be best friends with me, you've got a long way to catch up. Mayor Boner is the greatest, Boofer. He's always chasing me around, laughing, and trying to push me into the water. His favorite game is to run up behind me and bop me over the head with his bug net. We have so much fun, Boofer. Seems like an average friendly person may have consistently physically assaulted her with net. Mm. That's certainly a reason to get revenge. There's a tall drink of- Dwight? Hello, you're new. My name is Dwight. And I love to wear the finest clothes. Quacko! Hope we can become great friends, though you'll need to work on your fashion sense. Does Dwight's shirt say it's just balls? Yep, it's balls. It's like when you make a rude shirt, and then you have the ability to get it removed. Oh, this little number? For years, I wore only the snazziest shirts. Then Mayor Boner moved to town and made this shirt just for me. Now I wear it all the time because, well, if the mayor makes, your sh makes you a shirt, you should wear it. Isn't that great, Quacko? Quacko. Mayor made him wear a terrible, rude shirt. If Drake is budget Scoot, then Dwight is budget Drake. I like that. That's good. I like that. If you want to be best friends... Oh, okay, we did this already. We know. Okay, so you have to talk to each animal twice. This is actually kind of amazing. I have a great deal of respect for the office of mayor. It's their responsibility to keep the town free of weeds and other refuse. Mayor Boner has some avant-garde ideas about cleanliness and visual appeal. 
He does his best, though. He's even always leaving presents near my house. Smarl. Loves hearing, loves having everything neat and orderly. Mayor never pulled weeds and surrounded her house with disgusting trash. Are we sure that, like, all the animals didn't get together for the greater good? This is like a SpongeBob squirrel. Hey there, I'm Squeaky. I love having fun and eating ass. I'm sorry, that's Imakuni's town. Wrong animal. Um, I can already tell we're gonna have a ton of fun. Fuck you! Look, look at that. Oh, nice, Imakuni. You got an apple emote. It's so good. Um, I I like that. It's it's uh. It's a censored fuck you, like, to get around the, 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 the fucking profanity filter. Uh, Mayor Boner, we're best friends, fuck you. He even taught me this great new catchphrase, fuck you. He writes me letters all the time, too. Check out this really nice one. Dear Squeaky... I gotta see that again. I missed it. Uh, Dear Squeaky, you got a real fucked up face, bro. I hate you. Die, 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 die. Why are you in my game? Please move away or just kill yourself, lol. You suck so bad, I hate you. Mayor Boner. This is like every Animal Crossing trope. I love it. Has nightmarish and awful face. Mayor constantly wrote mean letters to get Squeaky to move away, or worse. You're ugly, bro. Just fix your face, bro. Looks like somebody was a little bugged by this net. Edit a journal. I'm not this bad to my my animals in Animal Crossing, am I? I mean, I'm a little bit... well... Oh god. Am I Mayor Boner? You have a corpse basement? Okay, good point. Hello, detective. It seems you have attracted an awful lot of attention with your investigation. People are starting to ask around about what's going on. I believe you left no stone unturned. So, detective. Oh, I don't know. I'll be right here when you think you're ready. Hmm. I think Ursula did it. But I don't know. You got... a bloody shirt. Like, everyone did it. Everyone did it. What about you, Isidore? Or should I say... Isabel? You did. Please, come with me. Here we are, City Hall, where it all began. Tell me, Detective, what do you see on the walls? That's right! Portraits of all our previous mayors. Notice one thing they all have in common. They're humans. This is an animal town. But every fucking time a human rolls up in some train or bus, they immediately become mayor. Do you know how that makes me feel, Detective? I've been the backbone of this damn town for years, but do I ever get to be mayor? Of course not. And Boner? Oh, he was the worst one of all. His older sister was mayor for a long time, and the town thrived. Flowers bloomed. Friendships blossomed. Everything was okay. But then... Time passed. She got older, and she handed the reins to her younger brother. You saw the state of the town. Everyone's moved away, and the ones that remain are too dumb to live. He even renamed it from Lovelyton to fucking Penis! He was childish, and he abused all of us constantly. It was only going to get worse, and worse, and worse. Somebody had to do something, even if it meant sacrificing a local. Oh, I do wish it hadn't come to this, but you have to understand... I'd do anything to save this town. And I won't let anyone stop me. Goodbye, detective.
And thus the town of Penis was saved. That is the whole game. Can't press any buttons. Holy fuck. I think she called him to, like, not solve the crime necessarily, but to, like, blame one of the other animals because they're too stupid to live. It was all like a PR move. Maybe. I don't know. I think now I need to treat my people better. How about um, a game here called Stream Frasier Online Free? Such a good name for a game. There it is. Press play to get started. Welcome to the only place on the world wide web where you can watch new episodes of your favorite sitcom, Frasier. Yeah, I'm Geocities. Forget it, Frasier. It's Frasier. Nope, this is my appetite. Besides your stupid, ugly face. Well, it better come back tonight. Just a stop sign. I'm just a stop sign. You just wanted to be late for a change. Yeah, what is arguably the most extraordinary thing happened? All right, before I forget, Faye called. She's going to Alaska. They'll let us both go for this junk. I like the sound of her voice. Oh, Fraser, you were the you were at this. I'm just a stop sign. <laughs> Frasier, Niles, shh, they're here. I don't know, I could kick myself for not taking you for a cup of cocoa by the dumpster next. I don't think it's time you had a heart attack. Well, you're the big deal? I have this sneaking around. Well, give me this. We're going to have to ask Daphne not to spit on the parfait. I know how many operas I'm going to have to be self-conscious about, you know. Abre los hoyos, Fraser Crane. The horizon extends in all directions where it becomes sky. The dog stares at you. Was it just speaking Spanish? Shaking your head, you leave the apartment. Maris will be over here with Fraser, and I'm thinking about it. So, Niles, did you use to eliminate any negative thoughts? Niles looks sick. He opens his mouth and starts to sing. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Niles, why am I so cold all of a sudden? You feel as if you're wearing a wetsuit. You feel as if the floor cannot hold you. You shake your head. No, 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 you won't let yourself go. You leave to go get coffee. Niles stares intently at you. A smile creeps across his lips. Cage goes in the water. You go in the water. Niles, are you quoting Jaws? No, that's absurd. There's no way Niles has seen Jaws. Day after day after day, we're st we stuck. Nor breath, nor motion. As idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. You stand up to leave, panicking. I am a very important radio psychiatrist. I have friends and a family that love me. The world seems dreamlike. You rush from the restaurant. Who is laughing?
If it's a shark, I'll do long division. Didn't see the first shark for about half an hour. A tiger, 13-footer. It means you're a child. All you have, the upcoming marriage of subject and medium. You are unable to speak. Your throat is dry. So we formed ourselves into tight groups. The idea was the shark comes to the nearest man and he starts pounding and hollering and screaming. N Niles. An egg from a whale shark has been around for 120 million years. Sometimes the shark would go away. Typically sharks travel in pairs, but have been known to reproduce asexually. Sometimes he wouldn't go away. Dad? What is going on? The captain has activated the fastened seatbelt light. Please return to your seats. Oxygen masks have been dropped from the ceiling. Please put on your safety mask before assisting any children near you. You grab for your safety vest. You fall. The water is still and warm. You bob lightly, the only light, the blinking of your life jacket beacon. You are alive. Dr. Crane, are you okay? <laughs> He's hallucinating. No, 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 I'm still in Seattle. Sometimes that shark, he looks right into you, right into your eyes. Despirata na ya na y nada. Los tiburones están aquí. Está aquí. I don't know how to speak Spanish. I'm sorry. Bull sharks can hear prey in the dark. Just butchered that sentence. You know, the thing about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes. Black eyes, like a doll's eyes. Like a doll's eyes. A doll's eyes. A doll's eyes. A doll's eyes. You start to remember. The plane crash, the ejection, the water. There were other passengers. For one moment, you see the sharks approaching. You know that the sharks can smell your blood in the water. Help me, you scream. The sharks press closer. You feel the pull of the hallucination of Seattle, of your family. What do you do? You close your eyes and fall back again into the dream. The dream is too powerful. You close your eyes, you hear a familiar song. Did we just start a new episode? This is a new... So is it just randomly generated episodes every time? Listen, it was all just good eats. What were you thinking? Because he has a big blue ball in no time. Every time, I just didn't want to know if you rub a raw potato. You know what, I need to talk to you about smoking in the can, and that is what you meant, right? Oh dear God, no wonder she's been wondering that myself. It just, it's procedural, Frazier, it just forms as you go. You feel the pull of the hallucination of Seattle of your family. You continue hallucinating. <laughs> I could just stream this for the rest of my life. Come on, Eddie, it's breaking my heart, and I hope to go with the other tickets for. You know what? You know what time is up? I'll see you here. <laughs> Gotta take the damn thing. I mean, any other tape, so I said you were talking to her side. Uh, oh, oh, or taking her side. Oh, uh, we, uh, took a second job washing that old hatchback. I caused a problem with the Thomases. Tell them it's our father. You know how to handle this. Rough, rough. I should go too, honey. 
Niles, if you really must thank him for not having sex. Apparently the readership of the greatest thinkers of our past is hardly a waste of talent. I won't even have the finest actors of our f furniture family. Yes, the governor's table alone has two state senators in the environment. The funding for the contribution you made to this house for weenie roasts. Gee, Terrence, I never would have thought... I never would have to go home and get out of her head. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, and lucky me, I don't believe it. He's found a civilized way to feel silly when I top it all off with him. Oh, gotta run. I'm just, uh, gonna speed run through this a bit. Just wondering how this one ends. Uh, speculum. What's a speculum? <clears throat> I really could stream this game for the rest of my life. Niles gets the hole in the head gang. Wait a... Wait, hold on a tit mouse. Shouldn't be too late already. I thought Dr. Crane has quite a little fellow a way to get just anyone. And if all goes well, in the forehead, it deadens the muscles and takes away the wrinkles. You know, if you need a few nice dinners, then that's all- it's too bad. Oh, by the way, so you can settle it. Then again, every one of those myself. These big shot doctors, they don't write songs like that in America. Arf. My son, Niles Crane. <laughs> Do you think... I am? You feel the pull of the hallucination of Seattle, of your family. You shake yourself awake. You awake to <laughs> survivors floating while sharks press in. Mercy! It is quieter than you would have thought. As you are dragged under, all you can think is, I never knew what to do about those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. The water, it is calling again. <laughs> Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling Toss salads and scrambled eggs Oh my Classic. god And maybe I seem a bit confused Yeah, maybe, but I got your pegs that, that is, um, quite a thing But I don't know what to do with those Toss salads and scrambled eggs Eggs Only eggs can They're sustain me again. Just trying to avoid some VOD muting here Scrambled eggs all over my face what is a boy to do? Wow. Good night, everybody! Uh, okay, that was Stream Frasier Free Online. One of the best things I've ever seen. Um... I don't know how you follow that one up. Sports Dog World Pup? Two. Did I prefer that or Fortnite 2? I don't know what I prefer anymore. I don't know... How is... How is this night happening? You feel the pull of the hallucination. <laughs> That's gonna be a meme. I can fucking s I can smell it in the grim barkness of space. After the famous golden retriever sports dog saved the winning penalty shot at the World Cup final, everything changed. It became clear to the world that dogs were superior to humans at soccer. Why no one had seen this before remains a mystery, but one thing is clear, there, were no, there was no turning back. Dog soccer was the new craze. At first, the major leagues and associations fought it, banning dogs from playing at the highest level. This turned out to be counterproductive, and minor leagues, which allowed dogs, soon overtook them in audience share and revenue. Really? I need to shake myself awake. Barking Munich. Barking Munich. Corgi FC. Ke 
kickoff. It is dog soccer. I don't know what level of control I have over this, if any. But this is just people making noise. This is just people making dog bark noises. Good move. Woof! Do you think any of these dogs speak Spanish? <laughs> oh my god, that dog got bodied! Holy shit. What a waste of kick a comic off. kick. Yeah, I don't really have to play this. The only thing I can do is press Q. And that's it. I just press Q when the time is right. Will they ever score a goal? Corner kick. Ever? Throw in. Between this and the Frasier game. Goal! Yes! Wait. Wait, did I win? Between this and the Frasier game, I have endless streaming. Throw in. I think I yeah, that's, um, that's a goal for their team that I just scored. Can I wake up from the hallucination now? I like how the only goal that was scored was me against me. Okay, here's a thing I can do. I can do this. <laughs> Even the music is amazing. Do, do you hear this fucking music? It's Bark Step. Oh my god! Wow, Th this has been a crazy fucking night. I just want to see what the shockwave looks like. Oh wow, yeah, this is, I'm sure this is going to be a fair fucking match. Okay, if I am to show you the rest of the games, there's a couple more in this collection. Um, there's a game I can't get working, which is called Kill the Streamer, and it's a game where everybody spams emotes and they try to kill me in a video game. <clears throat> I'll try to get that to work this for another is the time. Tale of Spinster Walkboy. This is Spinster Walkboy. He isn't smart nor strong. He isn't fast. And his spin attack doesn't really seem to do anything. But he has a heart of gold. He's about to go on a great big adventure 
and meet lots of new friends and other things They're like collecting fruits <laughs> and jumping over animals okay yeah This sounds particularly well written. This is Spinster Walkboy. It all makes so much sense now. Best delivery that you could possibly have. Good. Someone just said it's like Crash Bandicoot made by Neil Breen. Boom. Oh my god. Can I just go left? Turns out if you try to spin while moving, you just do, you just do weird shit, like like that or that. I want to go home. I can see my house from here. Okay, I can't get past that. You can do that. Boom. Oh, fuck off. I'll try like one more time. I'm tired and I want to go home. God damn it. People are saying it's Vinny Simulator. <laughs> I'm too old for this. I'm tired and I want to go home. I can see my house from here. I can see my house from here. I can I can see my house from here. I feel that way tonight. I can I can I can see my house from here. Fuck off bird. What do you say about his legs? They're they're broken or they're just old? The spinning does nothing, mind you. Oh no, I am defeated. Congratulations, you have accomplished the mission. You are the very prevailer that protect right and justice. I would express my sincere thanks to you. This has got to be one of the most bizarre yet incredibly entertaining collections of random games. Turns out BDO Game Pack ended up being amazing. What's this? Vinny, uh, hey Dez, by the way. Dez says, when you, when he says, I can see my house from here, that has to be a Warcraft adventure game reference where Thrall uses his shield as a surfboard in the snow area during that one cutscene. 
So that's the stream I did with Dez. And if, first of all, I don't even know how you remember that shit, but if that's a reference to that specifically, then that's a deep cut. It cuts almost as deep as Thanos leaving me. Which is why we need to go back into Fortnite 2. We need to jack in. Time to jack in and jack off! Let's see... Okay, so I have to choose a different location to drop. Okay, it's not glitched now. They were tougher than looking than the usual breeds of scum who played the Royale this year. Perhaps all this training was not enough. Perhaps Fortnite 2 was to be even more advanced than Fortnite 1. Just as you were contemplating this, a voice is heard from across the bus. Aye aye, mateys. It be time to decide where it is we be dropping. Choose your location now. Your location? You hadn't even considered this. Where were we dropping? Little did you know at the time this decision would change the course of my life. Which one did I drop at the first time? Was it Snobby? I don't really remember. I don't know. I dropped at Anarchy. So let's do Snobby this time. Snobby Shores is a place lost to time. Where only the strongest of the strong drop to protect their own hides. Peering on the shores was a surefire way to get yourself killed early on. Regardless, as one of the best players in Fortnite 1, it was only applicable if you would be one of the fearful few who dropped off here. The breeze in your hair reminds you of the happiness you feel shooting the face off various 12-year-olds. Okay, snobby shores. Looking around, you were sure you were by yourself. Whew. You let out an audible sigh of relief, stepping forward to the local large business that stood before you. There was something wrong. This particular building was not here in Fortnite 1. This was a new addition. Why would something like this be added to a game for no reason? Your eyes fall on the large, white coasting building before crawling down to a large man in a suit who stood in front of him. Before you had a chance to react, he already was directly in front of you. Welcome to Nintendo, meet. What? H how did you know my name? I know everything. Do you want to know why? It's because this game... is fun. <laughs> yes! And if it isn't fun, why bother? I- I agree. My name is the Reginator. Wow, Reginator, you're so tall. It's a new day. And a new day for me, and a new day for Nintendo. Is that really true? I mean, I am playing on my Nintendo Switch, TM. It's true. That's why I've come off the battle bus with you to play some Fortnite 2. Nintendo's way is to challenge conventional thinking, not just for the sake of doing things differently, but to do things better. Wow, you really are philosophical, Reginator. Why don't you check out the inside of Nintendo Headquarters with me? Reggie places a hand on your shoulder and walks you into the building. Your body. You feel as though you are ready for anything. <laughs> this is definitely not Nintendo HQ! <laughs> the two of you walk into a large shining room. Pictures of the Mario Bros, Wario, Waluigi, and Toads line the walls. You know me. Reggie approaches you before pushing you onto the bed, straddling you. Oh. Jesus. You make me feel just like a purple Pikmin. R Reggie. You close your eyes, waiting to feel the embrace of the Reginator. Suddenly, you hear the sound of cocking. <laughs> Bam. The game is a battle. If it's not a battle, where's the fun? Game over. Wow.
Uh, well. This was an interesting night. Reggie betrayed me. And, um... Thanos was, was really, truly my friend. This whole time. Alright, well, that's the stream. I'm gonna go play some Fortnite on my Nintendo 3DS game console system. That's all the time I've got. I've got to get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I got to get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. Yes. All the Thank you, Sphinx. Thank you to whoever made these games. And uh, thank you for the corruption submissions earlier. This was an absolutely insane night. I'm not convinced that the person who made that Fortnite 2 game hasn't watched one of my streams. <laughs> I, f I begin to feel the pull of the hallucination. Oh, Reggie, thank you. Okay, wait, no, okay. I wake up in the bed. Reggie is standing over me, strong, powerful. His imposing figure blocks out the light. He looks me in the eye. He cracks a smile and he says, Frazier, Frazier, it's time to get back to work. You have a radio show to do. Only eggs can sustain me.